Welcome back, pilots. According to my analytics, you enjoy the space shuttle videos that I've made the most. I, so, let's fly the space shuttle. To find it, you just go to aircraft, community contributed, and then scroll all the way down to the end of this long list to space shuttle Atlantis. And the view is right behind, and there's no sound because the engine is off. So we're going to make some changes here. We're turning off multiplayer. And we're making sure we're in setting the environment manually. Where we are taking off from is Miami, of course. We're going to fly to altitude, turn around and come back and land. If everything goes as planned, this will take a while. So grab a drink, have a seat, let's fly. Pressing nine. Pushing the nose forward just a little bit. I wanna be headed pretty much due east. From here. And you can see I'm at about 30 degrees up. It means I'm headed out to sea, headed east. And I get uh, And to eject the booster rockets and the fuel tank, I'm going straight up now. See it at 90 degrees. Don't want to do that. To get rid of the booster rockets and the fuel tank, just it's like deploying the flaps. You do the close bracket once for the rockets and then again for the booster. I mean for the fuel tank. Now we're at 50,000 feet, we're at 1,000 knots in speed. I'm going to roll over onto my back. This way, if I can maintain this position, then I just simply pull up when we're turning around, but it doesn't always work out this way. I'm a little northeast, that's okay. 90,000 feet, now the as soon as we get over 100,000 feet, the um, flight control inputs change dramatically. I'm trying to get this stable because I want to show you something. Check out here. We press the X button. Uh, we're going to roll too much. And it deploys the... What you don't see is the space station is right there. By going reverse thrust, page down, we can dock. How cool is that? Then we press zero, or we could press plus and let it go away just a little bit. Press zero, and then uh, the X button to put it back away. We'll hit the number key five to get back behind so we can figure out what we're doing. We are descending now. And we're kind of in a roll. What we're gonna do is wait till we get down below 100,000 feet and it will straighten up and we'll fly right. Ha ha. We will um, wait and see what happens when we get down there. To try to correct right now, it would be futile. So we'll just let pretty much the, the physics of the air going over the wings and the tail to straighten us out so we can figure out how to turn back west.
It'll get real jittery right about now. So now we basically back into the atmosphere where we'll get some input from flight controls. All right, we are way off the coast. We're at uh, 28,000 feet. We're slowing down. We're at Mach 4. We didn't get enough speed to show the um, fireball, but if you uh, continue to accelerate, uh, fireball appears on the belly of the shuttle, just like in real life. I'm headed back west, looking hard for Miami. It looks like it's right in front of us. Boy, I'll be. No autopilot. Nope. Nope. We're off to the left is the Miami. You can see the white box and the um, landmarks I use are the uh, barrier island right there and the causeways going to the from east to west. That's kind of my pointer to Miami International Airport. You see, we're still at Mach 5. We're coming in hot. I can pause this and get the radio so it'll show us how fast we're coming in. Once we're in range, put the nav radio on. But unpaused. When we get in range, you'll see we're like 2,500 miles or knots uh, very fast. But this thing has extremely good air brakes and um, waste time just floating in slowly. Just punch it. Now, whenever I come in at a 45 like this, I rarely nail the landing, so wish me luck. 2,000 knots. It's not bad. Right, cut the engine. Deploy the gear. You can see that it's stuck decelerating quickly now. I want this to be as flat, as level as possible when you land. And I always set the parking brake now, and then I have my finger on the B button ready to press the brakes, so there's air brakes, spoilers, but this has uh, air brakes and a parachute to uh, slow you down quickly. Still use up all the runway here, but uh, if you land level enough, now what everybody else sees, they see the tank and the rocket boosters. We're gonna need a little bit of help here. Gonna be tricky. And you can try the thrust reverser, but I don't think it helps. Besides, it's really not a thrust reverser on a shuttle. We are going off the end of the runway. I guess not. And there you go. A nice little flight of Atlantis. All right, if you hit reset right now, uh, what will happen is the uh, plane will fall forward. 
because it doesn't have the tank and the rockets. To get them back, you press the oh, open bracket to do the um, the flaps. Anyway, it's just like retracting the flaps with the bracket key twice. There is, and then one, two, three, R to reset, and there you are. And then if you want to play, you can play around with it. Ha, ha, ha. As always, thanks for watching, pilots. See you in the next video.